in this video i will discuss three functions draw dimension lines draw reference reference points and draw reference planes draw gears i have discussed in the previous slide uh, in the previous video so in this video i will also discuss little bit about draw gears in the inclined uh, plane so here a b c 1 2 3 4 5 if i want to draw a grid uh, between a and b for example at a location 5 feet from a uh, above so how i can draw i can draw by uh, by the option draw grids here so here um, the software asking from me the how much uh, so basically i want to draw 5 feet so 5 into 6 60 inch so it's upward so it's positive value okay so I will click from here to here so now you can see I have drawn the grid 1 so similarly I can draw in in the inclined plane for example 0 so I want to draw a grid from uh, wherever you like here to here so in this way you can draw the inclined grids you can uh, rename the grids for example uh, x1 x2 so i will uh, discuss here edit edit uh, grid data modify so here you can rename it for example x1 caps lock x1 so you can also uh, the bubble location at the start or at the end start or its location also second one at the start okay okay now you can see x2 and x1 so uh, now there is a third option you can also draw by manually putting the coordinates for example i will draw add new grid x3 and i will put x1 y1 x2 y2 means two points so it will automatically draw the grid between two points now the third option is uh, i want to draw dimension lines so here dimension lines i want to check the dimension between any grid for example here to here you can check the input any for example the incline here so the third option is draw reference point why we need reference point for example if one i want to draw a hole in a slab so or or draw a beam at different location so for all these purposes i use draw reference points so here is draw reference point for example i want to draw a reference point for example uh, i want to draw a beam from this point to this point from center to center or maybe at five feet uh, above from the b axis so here i will put in the y direction offset 60 inch means five feet here i have drawn one point here i have drawn second point so now these are just reference point for my drawing purpose so now when i draw member beam so it will automatically pick these points okay then and then the uh, drawing will be accurate so here okay so that's how draw points work so the last option is draw reference planes uh, reference planes are the elevations for example in the elevation plane uh, I forgot to draw any uh, any other story for example there is a mumty or there is a landing of stair so for example there is a landing between story 1 and story 2 so I forgot uh, to draw the the plane so I can draw by draw reference planes here is the offset so for example that will be 6 feet above or 7 feet above I am putting 84 inch okay 7 feet 
from above this point so here is a reference point reference point one you can also rename so i have drawn the uh, reference points reference plane so you can all uh, so see all these things in the uh, edit stories and grid systems here modify so here is the x data and y data which is i have created in the previous video so that is the general grids which i have drawn in client and the other x1 and x2 so here is a reference point data here you can uh, it's also up to you you want to remain it visible or not these are the coordinates x and y pencil here is the reference plane and that is 19 feet from the base so i am naming it as landing landing of stair so again it is up to you you want to uh, keep it visible or not okay 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 now you can see the e tabs rename the the reference plane to reference plane landing landing